Good morning, everyone. So today I did not have to work. So I said, let me try this detox right quick. I don't have anywhere to go. So I do have two to three hours to get this thing done and see how true it is. You know, a lot of people have spoken about it and have said that they lost weight. So I'm going to try this thing out today and see if it works. And I'll let you guys know if it does. So first I'm going to start off by showing you my stomach. This is the front view of my belly and this is the side view. I did measure it in the lower part where my love handle is. It measured to 38. Higher waist part was 33. Now when I got on the scale, the scale said 180. These are the ingredients I will be using today. Altogether, you'll need four cups of water, one tablespoon of salt, and one tablespoon of lemon. Now I'm adding my first two cups of water into my pot, and then my second water, which is another two cups of water, I'm going to add my salt and my lemon in that water. Some people only use two teaspoon and others use one tablespoon. So today I decided I was going to use one tablespoon of salt. Now trying to decide which salt I was going to use was not that hard. It was between the Himalaya salt and the regular sea salt. I decided to go with the regular sea salt because that was already open. So here I added everything in that and I mixed it up. So now I'm adding it in the pot with the other two cups of water. And after that, I'm going to take a spoon and I'm gonna mix it all in together. So guys, make sure when you do this that you do not eat at all. So that's why I'm doing it early in the morning. That way um, I'm not going to be hungry until later. And then you want to make sure that you don't have anywhere to go. Trust me. You don't want to be driving or at work having accidents or embarrassing yourself. So make sure that it's a day that you don't have anything to do. My water's all done now. I will pour it in my cup and I'm going to attempt to drink all of it. Okay, so here I am. I'm about to drink it. I'm going to put a timer. They said that it's good to drink it under five minutes. So, timer. Five minutes. It's nice and warm and it's a lot of water. So, ready? It's not too bad, so I'm kind of glad I added the lemon. It actually tastes like um, beach water, just like salt water. It might take me forever to drink this, guys. So I added some ice. That way it can be a little bit um, cooler. That way I can drink it a little bit faster. I want it to gulp it down really fast and easy. The fact that it, don't, it does not taste that bad to me, I think it's pretty easy for me to drink. So, <laughs> 10.06. So while I'm drinking this, I wanted to share some um, fun facts that you probably would never know about doing the salt water flush. So... I was reading that it also balances hormones. It balances electrolytes, mineral levels, it balances your pH level, clear up digestive issues, clearing wounds, eases sore throat. Did you know that? I didn't. So that is a good thing to know. All right, so I'm halfway and it's getting a little harder to drink. Um so I'm gonna try to drink the rest of this, but I almost don't want to because it's it's feeling uncomfortable now. Excuse me. I 
I did notice the longer I was drinking the salt water, the harder it was to go down. I started getting chills. I started burping. My whole body started reacting differently. Excuse me. So I drunk it in about five minutes per se from 10.06 to 10.11. Um, That's five minutes exactly. In three hours from now, I'm going to come back and tell you guys how it was. It's 10.11, so 10, 11, 12, one, so around 1 o'clock. I'll be back to talk to you about if I lost any weight, how it was, and everything else. I'm definitely gonna have to lay down because I don't feel all right. Within like 15 minutes, I literally had to run, sprint to the bathroom. I felt like I almost did not make it. So when I tell you, you better stay your butt home when you do this, that's what I mean. So now it's like my stomach is like, and I'm almost scared to fart. Like that's how bad it is. So make sure when you do this, you're at home, not doing anything. You hear me? Lay down until it's time to go again. So while I'm sitting here waiting, I said that I'm going to share some facts with you guys. So you want to make sure before you do this salt water flush that you do your research, you look it up, you read on everything about it because this salt water flush is not meant for everyone. So if you are a person that have high blood pressure, a kidney or a heart issues or just any serious medical issues you do not want to do this so avoid 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 doing this salt water flush you know especially if you have like high blood pressure you're, you're not supposed to be taking in too much salt you know and i don't want you to be going to the hospital and almost passing out and saying I saw this video on YouTube with this girl Esther doing this video. No, 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 no. Because Esther did not tell you to do this. I am not no doctor. And Esther don't know you, boo. So, <laughs> you do this at your own risk. You hear me? So, those are some of the issues that if you are dealing with, you do not want to do this salt water flush. Sorry, my bird is just like making all the noise in the world. He just wants to get all the attention. Why would you want to do this flash? It is good for if you're trying to do a colon cleanse and you don't have... Oh, God. I gotta use the bathroom. Take three. So, why should you do a salt water flush detox? If you would like to clean your colon on a budget, um, that's the cheapest way to do it. Um, I've done the colon cleanse before and I've bought the pills and I do that maybe once every six months. So, the salt water will actually be the cheapest way to go about it. Now, if you only have one or less bowel movement per day, then that's another benefit. If you have history of constipation, um, if you bloat easily after eating, if you're always gassy, and if you're suffering from IBS symptoms, and if you have skin problems like psoriasis and acne problems, all those are reasons why you should do a salt water uh, flush. 
Now, if I were to do this again, I would probably do it like once every six months like I do the colon cleanse. So I'm back with the measuring tape. I'm going to measure my lower part belly where my love handle is and it's 36. So I did lose two inches off that part. Now the top, it remained 33, which is okay. Now I got on a scale and the scale said, do, do, do. 175 which was amazing because it was only a few hours and it's five whole pounds guys even though that was just number two but it it actually worked now I did get on the scale twice just to be sure and it said the same thing I will say that it is good to tape measure your body and get on the scale because the scale might say that you did not lose weight or the inches might say that you did not lose any inches so just because it says that it does not mean that it did not work because this is something that's working inside of your body so you might not see physical change but if you use the bathroom more than once then it more likely worked if you would like for me to try another detox please comment and i will gladly try it now subscribe and like for me thank you